I think you made that comb sharp enough, Brad. Something <laughs> else came through. Uh, what? Oh, putty knife. Putty knife. Okay, a putty knife. Oh, oh yeah, that's... And, and they're, I don't know, pushing a 32nd of an inch thick. And uh, so, a putty knife. Let's see if we can... This is going to be a little hard to hang on to, a little bit uh, different to work with. So let's get rid of the, as the British would say, the debris. All right. For all you folks over there in the UK. All right, let's see. First of all, um, paper. Really thin paper. All right, let's see. It just pushes the paper out of the way completely. Uh, paper is getting a little bit moist, a little bit damp. It's never, it won't even catch. It's not supposed to. Okay, it's got 90 degree corners on it. It's a nice straight line like that. Uh, it's for putting on putty, for scraping and things like that. Uh, it might even be a little bit of a sheetrock knife, things like that. All right, let's see how we're going to hang on to this thing how we're going to do this. Let's start out by trying, and I'll do it this way, then I'll turn it around and go that way, so, so maybe I can get uh, both sides here. And let's kind of hurry up. Run it right through there. You know what I should have done? I should have gone this way and then made that into the knife. But let's go ahead and just keep going like this. I'm not gonna press so hard. Maybe, it'll, oh man, if you can get up here and look and see all the little pigtails of metal. Once it catches and starts cutting, it will really cut. So just like this. Now I'm going to turn it around. Go this way. See if I can't keep it symmetrical. Just like that. You do have to be careful because if you get it right on top of the carbide on the corner, it also takes the cutting edge off. <laughs> That's why I have to be a little bit careful to make sure it's down in the V on the V-notch so I'm not actually going backwards on my sharpening. Turn it around. Oop, that's bad. And you can hear the difference when I actually don't get it down in the V. Oop. Slow down and do it right. Hands are getting cramped. really see the little pigtails of metal flying out of there. Mainly on, on this side. Alright, we're about ready to do our first test. Starting to chatter. And you know, maybe it starts to chatter when it's really getting down towards the the bevel that it's going to be when it fits the cross V carbide. All right, let's uh, work on it this way for just a little bit. Now you're not using the V-notch. No, I'm using the straight edge. Come back this way. All right, let's uh, polish the, yeah, I don't see too much um, on there. Like that. All right, now let's really polish it, flip it. Yeah, flip it both. Uh, every time you touch it, flip it over, touch it really light, polish the wire edge off the blade. Like I did all my knives, everything I sharpen at the end. And I, I, I'm really touching this light. I don't want to actually encourage the sharpener to cut. I just want to uh, cut or scrape that little tiny wire edge off. And uh, I probably could use another apple, but let's see. OK, 
okay. Um, I'm going to turn it up this way. That's not too bad. Let's, <laughs> let's work on it just a little bit more. We'll let the birds have the apple. like I want it to yet, so let's see. Got to make it just a little thinner, more like a knife blade. Right now it's kind of thick. And this is Sunday and I'm not working. That's because one of my dealers is working. So I get paid for the sharpeners that he get that he sells and I can be out here in the cold <laughs> making videos. All right, let's try it again. So this putty knife won't exactly be a very good putty knife anymore because it's actually gonna have a belly in it. It's gonna have a point and a point and a low spot. So when you actually go to use it, you could scrape and stuff with it. But for doing sheetrock, uh, sheetrock mud, taping and mudding, things like that, it wouldn't work very good anymore. So let's see. Go right through the core. Yep, that's right through the core. Actually, that's that's pretty good. Go sideways right through the core. That works pretty good. So I think we have a success there. Will it sharpen a putty knife, stainless steel? Might be high carbon. Uh, I, I think it's probably stainless steel because it's made to be wet all the time, and that means it would rust if it was just a, a high carbon. Uh, but anyway. Uh, there it works. It's a, uh, I was going to see if I can find a name on it, but uh, I have no idea. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Go out and sharpen your putty knife and slice uh, apples. <laughs> this is Brad. Take care.